Okay, so when you're coming up here on the uh, truck lanes, uh, you'll see we're going to keep left at George Washington Bridge. Uh, that's where we're heading. But if that happens to be shut down the western spur, the eastern spur uh, also brings you right back around. Uh, so either way, if the western spur or it happens to be shut down, you can get up on the eastern spur and it will take you to the George Washington Bridge. It's just a little uh, a little more local than uh, the, the, the east to western spur. Okay, so one of the little tricks that I use when I come up north here, uh, I follow the signs for the lower level uh, for, towards Fort Lee. Even though it says all the trucks to the left, uh, I'm going to show you a little trick here that it kind of gets you around some of the traffic sometimes. Uh, you're not allowed to go on the lower level of the George Washington Bridge with a truck, but we drive right up to it and we kind of scoot over uh, right before the tolls there. One of the things we preach here at UPS is uh, you know, path of least resistance. So when I come into the toll booth, there's 16 tolls at uh, George Washington Bridge. It narrows down to four lanes. And during construction, sometimes it narrows down to one lane. Uh, so what I do is I come in the toll booth to the, all the way to the right, and I have all the traffic to my left now. So I don't have to worry about going back and forth, mirror to mirror. And I stay all the way to the right. I got the jersey wall to my right, so I'm focused on my left side and just worried about the cars coming in on the left as I uh, merge into traffic uh, path leaf resistance. So we're uh, climbing the, uh, the, the end approach here to George Washington Bridge and you'll see here to the left it'll say no trucks, I mean all trucks to the left, uh, no trucks to the Fort Lee right here, uh, but we're going to hang in here and like I said, we're going to go right up in front of the uh, toll booth and then shoot over to the left. So we're, st we're going to stay in here. Uh, right now, it's not too bad traffic uh, with the rain and stuff, but uh, normally it'll back up past here and we kind of, uh, we kind of get... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. That was an accident. So uh, stay to the right here, so uh, lower level. Even though it says no trucks, we're actually not going to get on the GW bridge in the lower level. We're going to scoot over at the last second here. Uh, I'll show you if Jason keeps that uh, camera running. Uh, right, right around this corner here, you'll see the, the entrance to the lower level toll booths. And uh, you have like the last exit here to jump over to the left. And I'll show you uh, kind of how uh, it's an old school trick here. As you can see, traffic here building on our left here. Uh, and because they're probably doing a little construction up here or something. Just be careful, everybody coming in on our, on our left here. And as you can see the sign up in front there, all trucks must exit. And we're going to jump over. And we're keeping everybody to our left here. The entrance to the bridge to the lower level is to the right right there. As you can see the tolls over here to your right. Uh, you definitely don't want to go that way. That's going to cost you a ticket for sure. Uh, you probably get a better shot right here. Uh, that's, that's, that's the entrance to the lower level. So we're kind of scooting along here. As you can see all the traffic to our left. And we're just kind of moseying right along. And... Uh, we're going to come up to the toll booth, like I said. Uh, we got, uh, how many is open today? Not too, too many. We got about eight open. And we come through the first one here. I have the jersey walls going to be to my right. And all I got to do is focus on the people to my left. Uh, so I don't have to, like, if I'm in that middle lane over there, you know, everybody merging in together here, it's, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, real bad pinch point so this way I just focus on people to my left and uh, you know take your time and we call it the path leaf resistance here we go look look here's the problem with the George Washington Bridge when people don't let each other in as you can see we got a big rigger took uh, a four wheel out everybody's always in a rush like I said, path leaf resistance. I have everybody to my left. I got a guy 
beeping his horn at us, real big fan of ours. So as you can see, uh, we are all the way down to one lane. I'm coming all the way from the right side, all the way over to the left. Uh, couldn't have been any easier though. Uh, toll booth, uh, about 400 yards and I'm through and uh, about 6,000 trucks are sitting behind me. That's one of the little tricks of the trade uh, I learned years ago. And this is the George Washington Bridge, the famous, infamous George Washington Bridge that everybody talks about all the time. Uh, you gotta be real careful when you come across. Uh, the lane we wanna be in is one lane off of the, the side here. This is the actual lane we wanna be in when we exit exit two, which will say Amsterdam Ave. It's right on the other side of the bridge. Just be real careful. I tell everybody uh, when you when we do come down to this off the bridge here, it's supposed to be three lanes. It's more like two and three quarters. You don't want to be mirror to mirror with another truck next to you. Uh, either accelerate and get ahead of them or push on the brakes and back off a little bit uh, because it's too tight really for three, three cars to go wide there. And uh, you'll see that in a second <clears throat> when I show it, pull, pull up here. Uh, it's definitely uh, wasn't designed for three tractor trailers to go wide here. We're pretty lucky right now. Like I said, we cleared all the traffic and uh, we're looking for exit two. It'll say Amsterdam Ave and uh, we're coming up on it now. And this is the part I was telling you about <clears throat> right here. When we start to uh, dip down here, it uh, tends to get a little tight right here. And uh, right here, like I said, it's about two and, two and three quarters of lane especially right where these yellow blinkers are here, it gets real, real tight right here. And uh, you, you definitely don't want to be side by side with somebody. So this is the lane we wanted to be in, as I was saying earlier. Uh, you know, we try and line up on the right lane. Uh, now, we're gonna be sharing the off-ramp with uh, the people to our right here. So you want to kind of start looking in your mirrors uh, especially your fender mirror when we come up here I'm gonna have your turn signal on and uh, this is exit 2 it says Amsterdam Ave I don't know if you can see that there uh, University Ave of Amsterdam Ave and like I said we're sharing the off-ramp with this people here we're actually coming across to the right so we want to make sure we're in our mirrors uh, we clear to uh, make sure there's no traffic coming and we're gonna go all the way to the right here Got my turn signal on nice and early, and we're gonna to stay to the right uh, and follow this back in here, says Amsterdam Ave. Be real careful back in here. Uh, uh, doors locked, uh, I always tell everybody. Uh, window down a little bit, uh, just so you can hear the traffic and the ambulances. A lot of homeless people live back here. Uh, you gotta be real careful. There's a park right to our left, and uh, they tend to walk uh, through here. It's kind of dark in here uh, and so you want to be real careful you don't run somebody over back here. Uh, it's, it's one of those kind of areas uh, that you just got to be a little extra careful. Uh, in New York City I tell everybody all the time uh, the ambulance and police officers, fire trucks don't really care about red lights. That's more your responsibility. Uh, you want to have your window down a little bit, radio off, head on a swivel and uh, kind of paying attention. Now we're gonna make a left here on Amsterdam Ave. Uh, this is a, uh, our little food trucks here. They're usually lit up pretty good, but they're not lit up today. I guess they're still a little too late and a little too wet, the weather, but uh, some of these little food trucks here, are, uh, one of the landmarks when you come back to leave the New York City to go back to the George Washington Bridge, but they're not lit up very well today. But uh, this is 175th 4th Street. We're going to follow this all the way down to 110th, and uh, we'll pick the video up then. We're coming down to uh, Amsterdam Ave, and we're coming up on 110th Street. Now, as you can see ahead of us, we have headlights coming at us. Uh, that actually is 10th Ave coming at us. Uh, it turns into Amsterdam. Uh, so right here at 110th or Cathedral 
uh, parkway, you have to make a left or a right. Uh, we're going to make a left here. We're going to go one block, and we're going to make a right onto Columbus. And we're going to follow that all the way down to 57th. Uh, like I said, on the way out, we'll actually come straight up uh, from cars in front of us here and uh, up 10th Ave on the way back out. But as of right now, we have to make a left or a right. We are making a left onto Cathedral Parkway or 110th and one block, make a right onto Columbus. All right, so we're coming up on to uh, 57th Street here. Uh, we're going to make a right. Uh, you can see we got some construction going on here. <clears throat> we're just got to be careful here and uh, take our time. We're going to make a right on the 57th. We're going to go two blocks down to 11th and make a left. All right, so we're going to make a right right here on the 57th. Take your time. Watch for the pedestrians. They always have the right of way. One of the other things I always talk about when I bring guys up to New York is uh, try and stay in the middle, stay away from the curbside, the traffic, the cars, uh, people walking in and out of cars, uh, because uh, sometimes you don't see the signs of life. Uh, people just jump in the car and only turn their lights on and, and take off. And uh, like I said, you want to try and stay away from the uh, the activity on the on the on the on the shoulder there on the curb if you can stay in the middle. This is 10th Ave, uh, which we just made the left or right back at 110th. Uh, that's how we'll be leaving. It turns back into Amsterdam when we. Uh, when we leave, 10 turns back into Amsterdam. So we're coming down to 57th here. We're going to make a left onto 11th. And we're going to follow this down to 45th Street. And that's where we're going to uh, pick up the video again, and we'll show you how we inbound at the uh, at UPS. Okay, so we uh, come up here to 11th Ave and 45th Street, and we actually stop right on the corner here, and we're going to we don't inbound yet. Uh, we're going to look to our right right there. And if you can see that uh, green light on the building over there, uh, when it turns red, that means there's somebody in the lane. We're green right now, so we can go. Uh, they can only inbound one truck at a time here. So you stay here, and then you don't inbound until you actually pull into the lanes here. Uh, just be careful. Uh, you got to swing wide. Uh, turn your headlights off once you do get into the... Uh, facility here because it makes it real hard to uh, see when guys are blinding you. Um, we're going to pull into the fuel lanes here and we're going to stop right here at the fuel lanes and this is where we're going to give the, uh, we're going to secure our vehicle and we're going to give the guard uh, our keys and our seal control and have them uh, cut our, uh, pay our, our seal and then uh, we'll, we'll inbound from here. You want to get out and take a quick peek. Bay assignment. And then we're going to give you a quick tour of the building. Now any uh, bay assignment here that has a four digit number, 7208, 4415, anything with four digits, 
means the yard here. Uh, anything with three digits means the building. I'm going to show you how to uh, interpret that in a second. Okay, so we got uh, a sign on Bay 303. The first number is actually the door, and the next two numbers are the The next two are actually the actual bay. So we're going to pull out of here. And this is our building across the street here. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour. Uh, when you come out here, the traffic, we have to go left. This is actually bay door six we're looking at right here. Can you see the numbers up on the door here, Jason? The new six, so they put six up here. See that? So now, if we had uh, six, uh, say 648, uh, we're going to go in the six door there. Now, six and one are the same door. It just, what happens is it helps you line up the uh, trailer when you're backing in. So that's door six. The opposite side of the building is door one. So you have six actual doors you can go in. One, two, three is down the 43rd side. Uh, 456 is on 44th Street right here, and uh, but it actually helps you on backing in because we have these poles we have to go around, and I'll show that in a second. So this is our building right here, to our right. This is 43rd Street. Okay, so we're going to make a right on 43rd here. And uh, as you can see, this is one bay here. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. uh, that's the opposite side of six bay. And then we're going to come up on the next door here is number two. And the opposite side of two is five. So basically what it does, it helps you set up for the back. As you can see, the poles in there, they're all scuffed up. Now what you do is, you actually don't pull in. Uh, when they give us bay 303, this is bay three here, uh, door three. We're gonna pull up out here and we're gonna sit here and wait until a, a bay supervisor, they call them, comes out and tells us to pull in. We don't just pull right in because they can only have one or two trucks at a time in here. So we come out here and uh, we secure the vehicle and we sit here and wait. And a base supervisor will come out and get us. If you're here too long, you want to go on uh, Central Sort and uh, kind of blames the hub for you sitting here. Some days in New York City, you can sit here two minutes, some days you can sit here an hour. Uh, like I said, it all depends on uh, how busy they are and we're going to sit here for a little bit and uh, we'll show you when we pull in. Okay, so we just got waved in by the on Bay Soup. Uh, Marcus right there, he was, they usually come out and talk to you, but uh, it's raining so I guess he doesn't want to get wet. So we're going to pull in here at Three Bay and uh, we're going to use our horn to get everybody's attention. And there you go. And uh, we are... Uh, what's up, Marcus? So we're pulling in nice and slow. Uh, now, if you see to your right is where we're heading. Uh, so we got 303. So door three. And we're looking at bay three. As you can see, it's up here to our right. Uh, I don't know if Jason can focus in on the numbers on the back. Uh, they're kind of hard to see. If you, can you see the numbers back there? Okay, so Bay 3 is actually one of the easiest bays we have. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the ramp here. And we're basically just going to back straight down. Okay. We're going to put our lights Havits on. We always use our havits when we're backing. I'm going to signal my with my horn. 
Do it a couple times. Uh, make sure everybody sees us coming and hears us coming. Uh, now we take our time in uh, 43rd. Don't want to rush. Uh, we don't want nobody getting hurt. There's people everywhere here, constantly walking back and forth uh, throughout the hub. And so you want to get everybody's attention, our lights, horns, and signals. So we're going to back her into the three bay here. I'm going to post trip our trailer and uh, disconnect from the trailer and walk over to the dispatch and see what they want us to do next. As you know, I was just saying, three door and four door, the same doors, uh, just different air ways to back in. So if you have four door, uh, say 413, we park out in front of the Manhattan mini storage and wait for the on-road soup to come out. If you've never been here before, uh, every bay has a different setup. As you see, I just went straight up the ramp and backed in. One of the easiest bays we have. Uh, but say you get 413, you come in here, you have to go directly behind the poles here. And when you come behind the poles, you almost have to go outside of the uh, on road, outside back out three door and then back in. Uh, so it's a little different. Each bay has a different setup. If you've never been here before, the, uh, the on road soup will actually help you and tell you you got to go in front of the poles, behind the poles. Uh, so we're walking down here to 13. Uh, you'd be keeping your trailer to your left here, real tight, your tractor. And uh, this is 13 Bay here. And you would actually drive out this door and jack it and then pull right back in here. So you'd have to be behind the poles for 13. If you were out there, you couldn't make the turn. Uh, everyone has a little different. Now, Bay 14, you would come in three door and back around this pole. So like I said, each 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 bay has a different little technique, and that's why they give you the, the, the door number first. That the door number you come in, and then the bay. So even though you're like 413's here, and then it'd be 315, because you could, you could blind, uh, sight side, blind side in right here. 15. Okay, so we just posted up our trailer, we dropped it, now we're going to pull out a four door here and uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour of uh, the 43rd building. So if you had five bay, five door, I'm sorry, come over here and park along the curb here to the left by this light and wait for the on-road soup, to come, uh, the base soup to come out and get you. See this dolly to our right, that's where we break down the sets at, uh, right on the street. So this is where we'd sit for five door. So I'm going to pull in from five door, uh, quick or a five door. Now five door and two door are the same doors, as I said earlier. So this is us pulling into five. And uh, as you can see, it's a little tight in here. Uh, the poles are scuffed up pretty good from the trailers being rubbed on them. But uh, that's kind of part of doing business at 43rd. Now, you got to be careful. The tugs and the, and the pedestrians have to right away, of course. And uh, as you can see with that, they don't really care what you're doing. So we're always more responsible, you know, taking your time. This uh, shifter here, he's coming into five bay, five door. Uh, 
they sit there and wait. Most of the time for six door, we park right where this car is. I'm shocked this car is here to the left. Uh, he doesn't, they don't normally park here. So this is back where we came out to our left here a minute ago. That's our yard where we inbound it. And uh, this is six bay, six door. You come in here and that's one door we're facing. So it's all about the uh, setup around these poles and the backing for these poles. That's really what it comes down to. The door gives you the key to how you're gonna back. You don't have very much blind siding, but uh, we do do some, like this bay right here to our right is bay 48. Uh, so you come in 648, uh, you basically drive almost out the door and then jack it pretty good uh, blind siding it uh, as you back into here. Just be careful of your nose. We always say uh, rub the gray, don't touch the brown. That means don't, you know, the trailers are one thing, uh, but don't touch the tractors. So this is us coming out of one bay, one door. I keep saying that. Always hit the horn a couple times. These are active sidewalks. And, uh, you know, people are riding their bikes and walking and so I always hit the horn a couple times as I'm exiting. Headlights on when you come out of the building. And uh, now we're going to go talk to Feeder Dispatch, which is right inside of Three Bay here, Three Door, and uh, see what our outbound load looks like. Uh, you always have to kind of walk up here and uh, talk to Feeder Dispatch. You can park on the street over here. You can park. Uh, in the well they call it here. But so if you see a few trucks parked to our left, uh, right here is feeders dispatch to my left. This is the door you're going to go in here, and you go in there and talk to feeder dispatch, and uh, they'll tell you kind of what we're uh, what we're doing next. Like I said, you can park right here. So. Uh, we're going to leave 43rd here. Uh, this is 44th Street. You look to your left right there is the aircraft carrier, the Intrepid. And uh, I'm going to show you how to get back to the George Washington Bridge. And uh, it's not real hard. Just take your time, be careful. A lot of uh, activity in New York City all times, day and night. So we got an empty out of here. We're going to make a right here on uh, 44th Street. We're on the West Side Highway, or 12th Ave, or I think it's also uh, 9A. That's the, inter that's the interstate number for it. You're not really allowed to go too far past here with the trucks, so uh, unless you know what you're kind of doing. But So we're going to make a right here on 44th. Our building's to the right. We're coming out with an empty. Uh, we're heading over to Meadowlands, but I'm going to basically just show you how to get back to the George Washington Bridge. Uh, our yard's here on the left. Our building's on the right. This is 44th Street. We're going to cross 11th Ave here. We're going to go straight up to 10th. We're going to make a left on 10th and follow it straight up. When 10th passes 110th Street, that's when it becomes Amsterdam Ave again. That's the road we came in on. One of the things I always tell everybody about New York City is, as you can see all these taxis, everybody always thinks the taxis, the taxis are a problem in New York City. Uh, it's, 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 oddly enough, it's, the taxis aren't a, the bad drivers, the uh, trash trucks are. And the uh, United States Postal Service, they're, they're our two biggest uh, crazy people in the city. The Postal Service, they, they seem like they act like they're going somewhere all of a sudden. And then uh, the trash guys, they just do whatever they want, back down streets. And there's actually one straight ahead of us right there, parked in the middle of the street. 
So we're making a left on 10th Ave. And we're going to follow this all the way out uh, back to 179th Street. And uh, so we'll do a little time lapse video on some of it, but uh, we'll probably pass on most of it. Just. Uh, Okay, so we're uh, still heading up Amsterdam here. We're coming up on, uh, this is 107th, so we're three blocks away from where we turned at, coming at us. This is 10th Ave we're on, but once you get past 110th, it becomes back at Amsterdam again. As you can see, we have a uh, motorcycle, uh, a bicycle in front of us here. It has one of those electric uh, engines in it, so they can run up to 35 miles an hour. This is where we turned at right here. And uh, 10th Ave now turned into Amsterdam. So we're gonna follow this all the way up to uh, 179th. And I'm gonna show you uh, how we get uh, back onto the GW Bridge and back into New Jersey. Okay, so that's where we actually came out to on our right hand side right here. Uh, when, we, when we came in earlier and uh, as you can see I, I was telling you about the trucks to our right they're not lit up today uh, but that's where we came in and so we're, we're heading northbound now and uh, I'm going to show you uh, once again we used a path of least resistance there's two ways to get on the George Washington Bridge uh, one is to the right up here uh, and then one is to the left the one that I use to the left is because uh, it's a little slower, but it actually puts you directly on the bridge. You don't have to cross any uh, traffic. If we go to the right, we have to jump across three lanes of traffic uh, to kind of get where we need to be. So uh, as we always say, path leaves resistance at UPS, and uh, so I'm going to show you that here. So we came in on 175th Street. Uh, we're down 176th, and uh, we're going to go a couple more blocks here. A few things about New York City, you know, you got to be careful, always watching for pedestrians, swivel, you know, have your head on a swivel, and then uh, make sure you, uh... so here we come up to 179th, we're going to make this left here. And you may have heard of the Cross Bronx. Uh, you may hear on the traffic about underneath the apartments. So to my left here, I don't know if you can see it or not, is the actual Cross Bronx, the approach right here. So anyhow, we're on 179th Street. We're gonna go about four blocks, just straight up 179th. Um, and when we get up here, we're gonna jump right on the GW Bridge. And we You gotta always expect the unexpected in New York City, that's for sure. People uh, kind of do their own thing here some days, it's crazy. Okay, so we're still on 179th, and as you can see, we're approaching the George Washington Bridge here. Uh, like I said, this is our own little on-ramp. We don't have to cut across any kind of traffic. It actually puts us right on the George Washington Bridge with our own little lane and uh, not, not trying to compete with anybody for our space. So it works out real well. So this is us coming on. Actually entering the George Washington Bridge now. Like I said, we have our own lane here, so we're not fighting with nobody. And uh, here we go. So, welcome back to New Jersey. We're going to follow the Turnpike southbound right over to uh, our next destination. And that's our uh, tour of uh, how to go to 43rd and back. Hope you enjoyed it.